Hi everybody, hope you're well, hope everything's okay. Tile 415. So okay, what have I got today? A pearl grey tile. And I've used my Day of the Dead background stamp, uh, stamp, stencil. It's because Leslie's not here and I've not had a cup of tea since lunchtime. That's what it is. So I've used my Day of the Dead background stencil, those lovely roses. And I thought we'd stick with the theme that we did on Tuesday. And it's, it is Valentine's Day next week. And I just keep hinting to John. So I don't know if he's quite picked up on the hint yet. But not to worry. So, okay, first things first then. I'm going to come in with pencil. Maybe I should just put these all over the place on the fridge over the weekend and just say, do you know what they're for? Uh, okay, heart shape. We, we do like our heart shapes. And I'm not going to do sort of a fawn in the middle. It's entirely... Uh, you can use a stencil if you like, but I'm going to imagine I've got a bit of a heart shape sort of coming off the page here. So I'm going to... That means then I don't have to try and make it match. That's the idea anyway. So part of it there, look. And then the rest of it's going to sort of sit here. Uh, don't want to sort of fill the whole space with it. So I want to do other things around it. But having a pencil to hand just means we can play about with them a little bit and decide what you want to do with it. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? So let's put that in in pen before we change our mind. Now I've got um, a little bit of that stencil in there. I've not completely covered the whole tile. It's just sort of at that top edge. And yellow's a different colour, isn't it? You know, you'd think of oh, Valentine's red. I thought we'd go with a sort of springy yellow colour. There you go. Now see, obviously I didn't like that line, so I've been able to get rid of that and sort that one out. There you go. So we've got sort of a part heart shape sort of going off and into there, okay? So next little bit then, I'm going to start at the top here and I'm going to put myself just a little bubble there, part bubble. And then a part bubble here. And I'm going to fill it in on both sides, okay? And then I'm going to continue those down. So rather than colour and or draw and fill, draw and fill. I'm going to draw them all first. Don't have to do them too big and don't worry if they're all a little bit different sizes. Aren't we all? Day to day actually. <laughs> Change from day to day. See, so it's still going off there. I'll bring a few in here as well. Okay, I'm coming around and I'm adding an extra row on top of these part bubbles. Again, they don't have to match. Don't worry if they don't, it's fine. You just want to give it a little bit of an interest around that shape. So keep it going. Again, if you wanted to do this as a full heart shape, you could do that. Imagine doing a couple on the new postcards. That would look nice because it's, it's a little bit more of a... A card shape, isn't it, I think? <laughs> oh, Rose, I know. So remember, on our last tile, we did a bit of a swirl. So I want to do something similar, but I'm going to do it down this bottom end. And so notice I've come back in with my pencil. I'm going to sort of um, take it up there a little bit. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, just a little bit of a swirl there. And before I actually draw in anything with pen. I'm going to put my little, oh, do you know what? I need to do that. I'm getting so carried away this afternoon. I want to put my stripes in first. So I'm going to do curves all the way around it. Okay. So I've not drawn the swirl in in pen, but I'm doing the curves. As I work my way around, keep it going. So there you're going to sort of get part because it's going underneath there, see? And up there, and up there. And then this one, I'm going to bring it down and finish it so it's a bit thinner there. So I've got a bit of a swirling. So the reason I didn't want to do pencil lines to start with, because what I want to do now is in between each one, I want to give it a little bit of a curve. So like, like that. On the end. 
only a slight one, but it's going to make a difference. It's going to give it a little bit of shape, see? Oh, Heather, that's great. Now we do pack and get things out as quickly as we can. We know that you all want to play with your bits and pieces. There you are. Gives it a little bit of a different shape. Right, let's have a look at where we're at then. So, all happy with that. So, next little bit then, let's have a look. I'm going to sort of work in this space for now. And what I want to do is, I'm going to sort of come up and out. Let's go this way. Okay. And then I'm going to come around like that. And then again, around, back up, and around. So it's sort of going to go to the bottom there. Okay, bit of a, an odd shaped leaf, but there it is. So I'm going to do another one going this way. And then around to a point. And then back again around to a point. And in. So quite spiky. I'm going to do say, sort of from the same area, I'll go this way this time. Back around. And around. And another one, I'm going to go a bit smaller this time here. So I'm always sort of stopping at that bit because I, I want that sharp point. And sometimes if you do that and you keep going, you end up with a slightly rounded sort of shape there. Um, Oh, it could, yeah, it could be an antler. I did actually, we didn't see the stags this morning, but we, we do see deer most mornings as we're heading to the office. I counted four this morning. A little group there. Let's put one in here as well. So again, stop there because I'm going to get a nice point there now. And then you only have to sort of concern yourself with the one curve. You don't have to sort of go too far in with anything else. So let's do one here, look. And stop. Down and stop. Let's go down and stop. And then back in. I've got a few going on there. Okay, happy with those. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in um, a little line with a dot on the end. You see where they're sort of coming into those points? So I'm going to get one in there. It helps give it a little bit of shape. So there, look. And again, if you want to put the lines in first, then the dot, you can do that. So it's going to get parts, just got the three in there, look. So it is, Cathy, am I up too early? I did get up early this morning, actually. I'd got things to be done before everybody else got to the office. We were in way before eight anyway. Lots to do. Lots of exciting things to do. It's been that kind of a day. A bit of a stressful one yesterday, but a bit better today. So let's have a look then. We've got these lovely little V's. And when we create V shapes, they're really perfect for little blooms and blossoms and that kind of thing. So I'm going to choose this one first, and it doesn't matter, I'm going to do this on all of them. I'm going to come in with one, two, three. I'm going to fill in this bit, but that'd be better if I bring my five in and do that. Okay. Up a little bit there, it's okay. So take it in there. And then on the top there, it's... <laughs> I know. John keeps telling me the same. <laughs> so little, little petals like this, and then I'm going to come in with larger ones. I'm not trying to sort of match them together or anything, just giving it a little bit of a sense of chain. And let's put little V shapes in there. Okay. So let's find a few more then. It's definitely got one here. Now, of course, I'm not going to go as large as that last one because it's only a small space. So, you know, 
Create what you're creating according to the space you've got. Again, that's some little V's. If you can't get V's in, just put a little line. Let's do one here. See this one? I've not got much to work with there. So sit with my three for that. Again, this one, see it's going to go underneath that one. That's fine. Let's have a little look. So there's one here, I just want to look. So let's put one in there. One, two, three. Let's put some little shapes there. I always start in the middle and then work your way outwards. I'm going to bring that five back in. And I'm going to drop that in there. Okay. So again, there's a little bit of one here. So, one, two, three, and again, I'm not going to get much in there, but, you know, we're still going to make the effort and put something in, so that's going to sort of fill there, so you're going to get part of one there, and then, see here, I'm not going to put one on both sides, I, I think here would be a good place to put one, so you can decide, you can decide to have none if you don't want paddles at all, you don't have to. So we want a little bit of you know interest in here so we're putting a few shapes and then i'm going to put one there so again look at yours and decide where you've put your little leaf shapes and look for those v's and if you've got them add some in So we've got some real unusual shapes now around the place as well. So what I want to do is, is sort of bring them out a little bit. And instead of it being pointed, I'm going to go around like that. Around. See, I'm not going to try and go into all the tiny little shapes. Just sort of work your way around. This one's going to go up here. You know, stop and start. Don't think you've got to do it all in one go. And around we go. And into there. So this one, look, I can sort of get a little loop in there. And follow it round. Sometimes I, I do um, fill in the gaps, these little spaces, as I go, because you can lose your way a little bit. But today I'm going to come in and put them in. Now here I've got a decision to make. Do I have all of it together or do I split it? I think I'm going to, um, let's have a look. I'm going to split it. So I'm going to have one shape there. And then here I'm going to bring in the other. Follow it round. And again here, because this is going off the edge... What I've got to do is, I'm going to imagine that this also goes off the edge. So I'm not going to sort of end it here. You see, it's sort of sneaked off there, like that. Okay. So I want to come back to uh, our little shape here. Okay. Um, this one's only sort of a part one, so I'm going to start with this one and I'll come back and fill that in. I'm going to choose a side. It doesn't matter which. You can go with this one or this one. And I'm going to sort of come out a bit further and go back in again. See? So there I'm going to do sort of a mini one. And I'm going to fill it with bubbles. And I'm going to do this while I'm going because otherwise we'll lose track of where we are. See? So there's that one. And I know I normally start in the middle of these, but being that the outer edge is the widest bit, I'm going to start at the outer edge. So that's that one. So then this one. And again, bubbles in. Like so. So that's that one. This one. Bubbles in. Now this one here, you're only going to see a little bit of it because it's going off. So I'm going to imagine some part of one there. There it goes. And then next one. 
this one. So you might find that it's it's easy to do the other side. So yours will look a little bit different to mine. But as long as you follow it through, so once you've decided which side to go on, then you go on the same side. So remember, I'm on the right hand side of my shape each time. And then I'm filling it with bubbles, so I remember which one I've filled and which one I've worked on. And of course, you're not going to be uh, sitting there wittering to yourself, are you, while you're doing it? So you don't have to, f your focus is going to be a little bit better. So, bubbles all the way down. Do that one. And then the last one. Around there. Okay. So, I'm just going to check back and any little edges I can see, I'm going to fill with ink. I'm sticking with my three there because it's only quite narrow, so there's not really a need for that thicker pen coming out. And you, know, you don't have to sort of follow it all around. You can work your way across if you want. Giving it a little bit of shape. And, uh, you know, just inking that up, it just redefines those bubbles a little bit as well. Helps to bring it out, doesn't it? Okay. Most of the part done there. Let's have a little look at that. So I'm going to come in with my five just for a moment and I'm going to look back at these odd shapes, you know, the ones that we did that we followed around. Let's have a little look. And I'm going to choose the left hand side kind of thing. So I'm going to thicken up this line here. So that's kind of on the left. And then that's sort of on the bottom, isn't it? So this bit's on the left. This bit's on the left. You see what I'm doing? Now, if you're not sure with this, there's a, a real easy way of doing it. Is do it in pencil first. And if it doesn't look right, then you can always rub it out. You see, that's on the left. So is that. So is that. Yeah, okay. So see, that's the bottom. That's the right. So here, this is, this is left. So I'm probably going to go sort of Cross there, but make it a bit wider on that side. You see, pull that bit in, and that is. I think once you've got the idea of this, you know, you choose a side and stick with it. It, it does make life a bit easier. And uh, it does take a little bit of practice, but once you've got it, you've got it. So here, look, there's a space here that I didn't even fill in. So let's get that in. I'm going to go in look with my three. Putting that really unusual shape in there. And then back onto the left. The left. Okay. Looks a bit like an odd teddy bear, doesn't it? Okay, so let's have a look at this space here now. I wanted to do uh, something a bit different, so... I'm going to come in with a bit of a curve, like so. I'm going to reinforce that bubble a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go around the shape. Like that. Just sort of following it around. Take your time. All right, to the bottom. And then I'm going to do that again. Around the shape. Two rows now, you see? Let's go in a little bit more. And then on this side, so the side that I've got my bubble, I'm going to add another one, two, three rows, okay? So let's try that again, but let's try it this way. Reinforce that bubble there. And I'm going to go around once. And then twice. And then this front bit, so the bit underneath the bubble, I'm going to go one, two, three. 
So I'll go a little bit bigger. Along and up on a ball. So now this time, take a deep breath, relax your hand because you don't really want to be worrying too much about trying to get all of that in in one go. You see? Little bits. One. Oh, Jackie, you're having a cuppa as well. That's nice. Leslie normally does me one when she's in, but she's not in today. So. Okay, so two round there. And then where the bubble is underneath there, I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to follow it down. And two. And three. So they're getting quite sort of thick, aren't they? There? That's great. I'm going to put one in here, but I'm going to sort of imagine that it's going underneath. So it's sort of going to have the two lines where I start with, and then it's going to have the three for the front. So we've got something working under there. Okay. And then I'm going to put myself a, a couple of little heart shapes up here. So they don't have to be the same. Let's put those in. All right. And just a little bubble at the end. And then I'm going to sort of trail it down. Like that. Let's put a little wavy line over the top of that line as well. Gives it a little bit more structure, but it's not too thick. Oh, Rose, they're fine. So that's getting really old and his legs aren't working so well. But Benji's fine. Crazy as ever. He's a lot, a lot more settled. He sleeps more these days. So I think he's taking uh, lessons from Seth. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to put my pen down for a minute. And any sort of pencil lines now, just get rid of if you don't need them. So I know I can see just a couple in there. It's mostly in here, you know, where we did that original sort of sketch. So, uh, next little bit then, what am I going to do? I want to sort of um, bring in a little bit of colour. Uh, so, I think, first of all, I'm going to stick with colours that I've used sort of in the yellow areas. So, what have I got here? I've got my lovely light orange, which looks a little bit sort of yellowy. And a bit of a light summer yellow. And my white. Might bring a few more in, but that's it. Uh, that'll come. Okay. First things first then. Let's do this swirl here. So I'm going to start with the darkest colour. The darkest colour. Now, if you're using a regular pencil and tortillon, that's fine. This is where you'll put your dark, your pencil, your graphite. So this is my light orange. I'm going to go over everything. Let's see? All the way around. All the way to the top there. And then I'm going to come around the other side as well. See? So it's... Got some of this colour on both sides. Alright. So then I'm going to bring in my lovely summer yellow. And uh, I'm going to sort of swirl it in. So the two start to blend a bit together. Like so. I'm not going in all the way. Just part way. Just uh, want to keep, if I can, that highlight. And of course, if you're doing this with... Um, regular pencil you'd be using a tortillon now to help smooth out the, uh, the darker colour there but being that we're using regular pencils we could have used watercolour actually but they are in my uh, case ready for Monday they're all packed up so coloured pencils here to bring a bit of that white in so again I'm going to swirl it around the middle there and sometimes it's it, it's nice to take ages with your colouring, but other times you think I just need to get some colour in there. So you could spend the whole hour just colouring it. But... Okay, so if you've got, uh, again, your regular pencil that you're using, I would have come in now with my chalk pencil and put that highlight in or, or maybe even a white gel pen. But I'm going to come back in with my yellow and work over the top of that white a little bit because I don't want to completely cover it, but I need to just help blend that line out a little bit. So. Okay. So I'm 
going to bring in a slightly darker colour. Let's have a look. I'm going to bring in my Sandhangle Red, actually. And I'm going to go back over, just kind of lightly, not too much, just over the line. You see, going in a bit darker there makes a bit of a difference. A little bit over the top. It's all around there, look. And then I can come back in with the light orange. See that the swirls go over the top of it. I just want to sort of take off the, uh, the edge. I might have to bring a bit of orange in to help it because the light orange is a bit of a look away. It's not bad. All right, Clementine then. Let's bring a little bit in. And sometimes you sort of go with as little as you can and if it needs an extra bit that's all fine that's better look see it's giving it like a little bit of a hint so we work our way around okay happy with that okay, ah, okay. Well, i'm going to kick with that orange looking right i've got some of those larger bubbles let's just put a little smirk on there only if they're, they're big enough. I'm not going to overdo it, but just giving them a little bit of a highlight. Okay. So I'm going to use similar colours for the flowers. I'm going to go back to that, uh, there we go, light orange. And just a little bit on the bottom there. I'm not going to do top and bottom with these. I'm going to do uh, sort of two colours. So I'm going to go with this one and the yellow. So if you've not done your Valentine's card yet, this could be the one. Or you could have a look at the uh, the one we did on Tuesday. You could mix and match bits. We could go a bit bigger. You see? So filling there. I'm filling the whole petal in there with two colours. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it there. Let's have a look. I'm gonna stick with that Santango red. I've trained Tommy while he's just brought me a cupper in. Just going to add a little bit to one side, see? Like so. I'm not going to worry too much about all the individual lines. I'll just bring that Clementine in and work the two together. Like so. Oh, miss that one completely. All right, so similar sort of thing. I'm going to stick with um, Santangle Red here. Let's add a little bit of colour in there. And I'm going to come to my orange. Mix a bit of that in. Or my Clementine, I should say. And a bit of light orange. Get rid of that. So I want to just stick with the colour just for a little bit. I'm just going to add some into these little areas. Again, just part of it. And I'm going to come in with the white. Give it a little bit hint of colour. Okay. Let's go to uh, pencil. Regular pencil, that is. And you see, I don't want everything to be full colour. So it's, it's nice to have that mixture. So underneath my bubbles here. So I'm going to add some pencil in. So it's going to be some under there, look. Add a little bit there as well. You see where it's going underneath? Same kind of thing here, look. That's going under. And give it a little bit of something there as well. And then looking back at the shapes we've got here, where I've got my thicker pen line, I'm going to add a little bit of pencil in there. See, it's sort of like little zigzaggy kind of effect. I just want to get a little bit in there. Into this bit. And around that section. My teddy bear. Looks like a teddy bear. It does now, I've said anyway. And I think I'm going to put some uh, underneath this bit here. Just this section where it sort of hides. Tortilla. 
So I might as well, I'm going to start here. I mean, that's where my eye is at the minute. And soften off that pencil. And then along here, see, sort of soften off this pencil. It's going to give it a little bit more of a shaded area there. And that's what we want. Same with that one. So we'll keep following it round, work your way from one side to the other. And get a bit of that in there. Same with this one. And of course if you want to, you can always go back in with that black pen and add a little bit more definition if you feel it needs any. And then these. So little bits. Again, it's all about taking your time with it. This is the bit we should enjoy the most. And I think sometimes we take less time over doing this than the whole of everything else. This is the sort of the reveal, isn't it? So we want a little bit of that. Okay, so if you've used just your pencil today, then you're going to be bringing your white chalk pencil out. But being that I've used coloured pencils, I'm going to stick with my white. And sort of on the... So you see where I've not filled all of these in? And add a little bit there. And because I'm on the pearl grey, it, it does mean that that white's going to come out. And uh, I think all the colours look stunning on the grey, actually. But it's just nice to have a little bit of something there. Give it a, you know, a little bit of a, a difference. Okay. And then on the opposite side of these... Oh, Jackie, thank you. Yours is going to be fab. You, you know what you're doing now, so... You can imagine this in all colours. We see just on the opposite side, I'm adding a little bit. Because I've got that background in as well, I, I can get away with quite a bit of, of this without worrying about blending it in. It's just about giving it a little bit of a hint. So look back into my teddy bear. This just needs a little bit more, so I'm going to come in with my O3 pen. I'm going to go back over that line. Remember the, the, the one we did around the bubble? Just to give it a bit more definition there. And when we can come in and just add a touch of pencil at the bottom edge of each one there. But I'm not going to go into serious detail with them. It was sort of the starting point, wasn't it, of giving us those shapes. So if you start with an unusual shape, you're going to get some even different. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so there's your little heart shape. Okay, white gel pen if you want to, just check it works. See how we've got those little bubbles. Let's just go in a bit so you see what I'm doing, you see? Put a little highlight on them. And because it's yellow, you might not you might not be you know as noticeable. But you know, depending on what colour you've used, it's always nice to have that highlight because it makes your darks look darker. And again, I'm I'm putting it on most of them, but you know, if they're a bit small, I'm not gonna Just giving it that little hint of a sparkle. Same with these. And now I know I've already gone over with a white pencil, but you know, it gives it all the difference. Same with these. Just a little bit of a highlight there. All right, and there you go. There's our time for the day. So, this is it. if you've not got your uh, Valentine's cards done yet. Yeah. This is a potentially a good one, or you could do the one from uh, Tuesday, which actually I've been looking at some of the pictures online, and they're looking fabulous. So uh, absolutely. I mean, we've still got Tuesday. I'm not quite sure what we're doing Tuesday yet, but who knows? It might be something different. So there you go. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy. 
you know, stay stay warm actually. I'm hoping it's gonna pick up again. It was really cold yesterday. But okay, enjoy this one, have a bit of fun with it and let me know how you get on. So have a good one everybody.